YSK that keys can be duplicated from photos. I've seen people posting photos of their keys as a social media announcement that they're moving into a new home without realizing that they're essentially giving anyone access to their home. YYSK keys should be treated like a physical password. As the bumps and grooves on a key are what interfaces with the pins in a lock and gives you access to your home. Additionally, with 3D printers now being quite common, it wouldn't even need to be done by a locksmith. Someone with ample knowledge and ability could potentially copy your key in just a couple of hours. A 3D printed key is dangerous because it leaves little to no forensic evidence compared to other methods such as picking. Recently somebody I'm close with escaped an abusive relationship and then posted a picture of their new house keys on social media to celebrate their new found freedom only to have to pay to change their locks shortly after. You wouldn't make your passwords public on social media, so don't share photos of your keys. Lockpicking lawyer proves almost all keys and locks are useless if someone is truly interested in your property D. Door keys can be reproduced by an analysis of the sounds of your key entering the lock typically gathered by hacking into a ring doorbell microphone. Not some huge epidemic, I don't think. But I thought the concept was interesting. The worst part. If someone uses a key it's quite likely insurance will refuse to pay out. Because there's no evidence of a break-in they can assume you're trying to commit insurance fraud. While this is true. It's only an issue if you are being targeted for random break-ins. They are not going to find an image of your house key and custom build a replica. It's much easier to pick a lock. It's also easier to kick a door open. It's also easier to find a window that opens. It's also easier to throw a rock through a window. Hey OP you should know that if somebody has access to key cutting tools or a 3D printer, they'll probably just make a bump key. It'd be easier than figuring out all the different pin heights. If someone wants to break into your house picking the lock or breaking a window is a much easier option than finding a picture and 3D printing a key. It's much more complicated than just drafting up a CAD model and hitting print. While it is semi-useful to know, and it isn't a very big loss to not to take pictures of keys, this seems like something that is very very rarely an actual problem. This is also why TSA compliant locks are inherently insecure. Somebody allowed a journalist to post a photo of all seven TSA keys. And now you can 3D print them. Letting you open any TSA lock. Plus that keyhole is trivially easy to pick. So unless you're flying to or from a country that requires TSA locks. Do not use them to secure things. Additional albeit counterpoint keep a picture of your car key and ownership in a secure folder. Or password vault on your phone. If you get locked out of your car or forget your key after flying across the country like I did. As long as you can prove that your vehicle is your own. A local dealership can easily cut you a new key. So the real LPT is take a picture of your keys in case you lose them. That's why I always blur my keys out in photos or put a big censored black square over it that says No. I don't agree with OP simply because if you are going to go through the effort of cutting a key, you probably know how to pick a lock and 99 of residential locks have no pick resistance. It was a plot device in an episode of Castle. One of the few good YSK I have read. Probably merits a post in LPT2. As that sub is also low on quality. It's much easier to just pick a lock. 
YSK that keys can be duplicated from photos. YSK there are more efficient ways to break into a house. A 3D printed key is dangerous. Because it leaves little to no forensic evidence compared to other methods such as picking. Kinder a mood point for all except antagonist in a mystery novel. You wouldn't make your passwords public on social media. So don't share photos of your keys. You wouldn't download a car. Would you? A key is the same as your bank pin. Each high and low point correspond to a number. Once someone knows the number you need to replace the entire key and lock. As a locksmith. If you bring me a picture of a key and want it reproduced you will leave with just a picture. This is total bullshit. Maybe maybe a quick set key but the chances of you getting right 100 of the time is zero. In theory it's a key that would be useless within a day because the new homeowner would have changed the locks out after going to their new home and there wouldn't be anything in there to steal at that point. An expert locksmith could do it. It would be beyond the abilities of most other people. Keys are much more than what you see in a photo. The correct type of key blank has to be used. And this also assumes it is a standard key type. This post is so dumb. Locks only deter opportunists. People that want to break in will not be stopped by a lock for more than a second. You think people like the lockpicking lawyer are that uncommon? This may work if key is symmetric on both sides which is not usually the case. Anyone can break into a house. I'm sure it would be overly complicated to make a key based off a photo. Also, why would you post pictures of your keys to begin with? YSK. Glass is easy to break. If someone wants in your house, they can get in. Can confirm. Used to work at a hardware store and did a few cutouts for trusted customers that lost their key. And were trying to avoid paying to have the house rekeyed. Took a couple tries. But most works just fine. You just have to match the pin height. Electronic lock. The key has to communicate with the lock. Can't copy that. LMAO at thinking a 3D printed key wouldn't just shatter inside the lock as soon as any torque was applied. This is why I changed all the locks when we moved in to wiser smart keys. If a key gets lost or compromised, it's $15 for a new set of keys and I can rekey all the locks and padlocks in about 30s per lock. To the same key for convenience or a different key if I wanted. The grade 1 stuff is no joke either for pick bump drill resistance. Just because it's possible doesn't mean it's actually a threat to worry about in real life. If someone wants to go through all the trouble of doing that they were going to do it with or without a photo of your key. Our illegal life pro tips. You wouldn't download a key. There's an episode of The Modern Rogue where they make a CAD file from a key photo. Make a 3D printed key. And are able to open the lock. Scumbags that would copy keys from photos should be eradicated off the face of the earth. Can confirm drove three hours to stay at my parents' house while they were away and realized at 10 p.m. I didn't bring the key tears of joy called the locksmith. Parents sent me a picture of the key and boom one hour later and five six attempts was in there. Recently I bought a spare key for my car on AliExpress. They had an option of cutting the key from a photo for just five dollars. Now, they required a good photo. But they still did a good job. Key works just fine. YSK that door locks only keep honest people honest and can be trivially bypassed by just about anyone.